Woo! So, finally, got this old guy out. Got the 70 amp in there, barely. Look at this. The lines are all the way up against the uh, hole there. I was concerned with the water circulation, so I just got done doing a water test in my bathtub, and it's circulating okay, but that, and uh, it's kind of hard to show on camera here. Uh, these, the positive and the negative, you can see there, I mean, it's right on there. It looks like they're pinched, but I actually pried this away enough to get my file in there, and I filed, filed away a couple little channels for the positive and the negative there, and, um, She's got some zip to her. I think I think we got box speed here. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, I don't know how weak that battery is, but it sounds a lot higher RPM than the than the stock setup. So hopefully it'll be a, it'll be a good runner now. I just gotta wait for parts from a rescue boat or get brave. Or stupid, or both. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys. I got got this thing installed. I'm gotta get this ti stuff tidied up and uh, make sure the hatch will fit on there. It should. Like I said, the, those packs are the same size as the other uh, three S packs I was running. 2200 mod packs. So yeah, that was a chore. Yeah, I had to also cut this tray. You can see there's one screw missing from that motor mount tray thingy had to cut that just so I could shove the ESC down in far enough cuz I like I don't think there's any videos online I haven't found any on how to take this hull off I've seen guys with the with the hull off but I kind of peeled this back a little bit didn't see any screws looked on the bottom didn't see any screws so I have no idea how this is sandwiched together but yeah I just I just pried it and jammed it in there and uh clears the motor barely clears the motor and no secure it's not secured it's butted up against there so it's not rattling around at all but yeah got it in there so hopefully run video soon thanks for watching we'll see you all in the next one